Hello, and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regney. I'm the principal second violinist of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. You know, all of us in the National Symphony so miss being at the Kennedy Center in the concert hall performing in front of our incredible audiences, but we're so glad that we can bring music to you in this way. So last week we had our premiere performance of this series, our pilot show, so to speak, and it was a huge success thanks to the Nickel family, James, Juliana, Kat, and Jonathan, who were spectacular. And to all of that, the Kennedy Center is now broadcasting our show as well. So not only is it being seen on the NSO Musicians Facebook page and YouTube channel, it is also being viewed live on the Kennedy Center platforms as well. So we're so thrilled about that. We have a great show planned for you tonight. We have the Pokarski family from Centerville, Virginia. Pavel Pokarski is a member of the first violin section of the National Symphony. He has a large family. He has six kids. Um, and so four of them are gonna be joining us tonight as well as his wife, Stella. But before we dash over to Centerville, I wanna first wish everybody out there, all the moms, a very, very happy Mother's Day. Ah, where would we be without the moms, right? So we wanna dedicate this program to you tonight. So now we're gonna head over to Centerville where Pavel, his son George, and his other son Alex eagerly await. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi Marissa. Hey, so good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really excited to hear you play. And you guys are gonna kick off the concert with this fabulous Caprice by Vinyovsky. Take it away. Thank <laughs> you. 
on Facebook right now and you've got any questions for the Pekarsky family, you can type them into the comments and hopefully we will get them very soon. So, uh, Wieniawski, in case uh, you and the audience don't know much about him, he was a Polish violinist and composer, lived in the 1800s. And he wrote a lot of flashy technical music for the violin, as you could hear. Uh, the next number that you guys are playing is an, one of these caprices that he wrote. He wrote eight caprices. And this one is a saltarella, which is an Italian folk dance, very fast. Now I know in this one, one person has a ton of notes and the other one, not as many. So I'm interested to see how you guys divided this up. Let's check it out. Where do you go to school? Uh, awesome. And um, how long have you been playing the violin? 
maybe a year and a half to two years. Okay, great. So I know your other, your older brother, uh, George is getting ready to go to college. So I think you're going to have to fill in for him playing duets with your dad. Are you going to, are you ready to play that part? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to ask though quickly, how, what is it like to play duets with your, with your dad and your brother? Is it fun? Yeah. Is it good as, is it as uh, good as Fortnite playing Fortnite? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Hey, you guys, that's high praise. Now, Pavel, you've been in the orchestra for what, 30 years? Yeah, 30 years. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And I know your dad used to be in the orchestra as well. Yes, he was. Yeah, so did you ever think you were going to be following in his footsteps? Uh, yeah, I didn't know I was going to be playing in this particular orchestra, but I knew I was be playing the violin, yes, and so Yeah. So I know you've got six kids and you've got a, a job in the NSO, so you're quite busy, but also in your uh, free time, you own a, a Skyway um, air taxi company. You're a pilot, right? Uh, yes. So uh, me and my partner started that back in 2007 and uh, that's what we do. Yeah, that's Charles Shepard is your partner? Yes. Yeah, that's fantastic. So when your fingers are not flying all over the fingerboard, you're flying up in the sky. Exactly. You're always flying. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much. That was absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to hear what more you have in store. I know there's a lot more notes coming from both you and George. But in just a minute, we're going to have one of your daughters join us, Maria. She's going to be playing the cello, and they're going to be playing a duet by Reinhold Glier. But in the meantime, I want to remind you all, please, you can follow the NSO Musicians on our Facebook uh, page, NSO Musicians, also on Instagram, NSO Musicians, and of course, our YouTube channel. We're always posting videos and photos, everything we've been doing uh, during these unprecedented times where we're at home trying to keep the arts alive and keep ourselves busy. Now, uh, this next piece, as I mentioned, by Reinhold Glier for cello and violin, um, I always love hearing this combination of instruments because, you know, you've got the low depths of the cello and the very high range of the violin. So it's a great juxtaposition of the sounds. But you'll notice in this next piece that they're going to play, this prelude, it brings the violin all the way down to its lowest register. So it really matches the cello. It's a very, very lush sound, very low and, and brooding. So, ah, here they are, father and daughter. Fantastic. Hi, Maria. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. So I cannot wait. I love this piece, actually. I always enjoy playing this movement. So please grace us with this uh, Reinhold Glier prelude.
beautiful. Thank you so much. Maria, that sounded fabulous. Thank you. How long have you been playing the cello? This is my fourth year. Fourth year, good for you. And where do you go to school? Shout out to your school. Rocky Run. All right. Now, I know that you also um, like to bake, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, have you been doing a lot of baking during all this quarantining? A little bit. A little bit? I bet your family likes that though. What's your favorite thing to bake? I like baking cakes. Yeah, I mean, all right, I'll be right over. <laughs> as soon as this is over, I'm coming over getting some cake. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. It was really beautiful. I'm really glad you joined us. And Pavel, it must be so nice to play duets with your kids. Is that the greatest? Yeah, it is very good. It's really been a very nice treatment. Yeah. Are you guys playing a lot of duets during all this quarantining? Uh, well, we did different things, but then we started doing that. <laughs> yeah. But that's so great that you can do this. And we really are, I mean, so many people are chiming in on Facebook saying how wonderful it is to see father and son, father and daughter performing together. It's really terrific. So thank you. Thank you, Maria. This is amazing. And now we're going to bring back George and Popple and the glue that holds the family together, Stella. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to Stella. Stella plays the violin as well, um, but she is not a professional musician. She actually used to teach ESL and during the, uh, in the Fairfax County school system. And now she's a member of the Fairfax County School Board. So in addition to helping with the, with the flight company that they own and being on the school board um, and there she is raising six kids plus a Pavel. <laughs> so amazing. And they're all going to come back, George and Stella and Pavel, and play for us the theme music from Schindler's List. Hi, Stella. Hi. Happy, Mother Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. What a great way to celebrate Mother's Day. Everybody is loving this. <laughs> so, um, this is such a beautiful melody. I'm really excited to hear this arrangement for, for three violins. Um, I'm sure everyone who's watching uh, knows that Schindler's List is the Academy Award, Academy Award winning film by Steven Spielberg back from 1993. And no Spielberg film would be complete without a, an amazing score by John Williams. And this melody is just so hauntingly beautiful and soulful. So I, I cannot wait to hear the three of you play it.
Wow. Thank you so much. So beautiful. Wow. So Stella, this is some way to spend Mother's Day, huh? Some way to spend Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for working on Mother's Day. <laughs> now, how long have you been playing the violin? Uh, well, I played through school, fourth grade. I played in college, played a little bit, but I, I haven't picked up the violin in 15 years until this past week. So, wow. Yep. Well, you can't tell. <laughs> That's fantastic. Nothing like a little quarantining to uh, brush the dust off of something, huh? <laughs> Well, of bravo to you. I mean, it sounds, you guys sound so beautiful and, and people are chiming in. They love the piece. They love the arrangement. This is so beautiful to hear the three violins playing it. So thank you for taking time during your day, Mother's Day, to, to add to this wonderful concert. We appreciate it. <laughs> so now George is going to take center stage. George, uh, we'll talk to him after he plays, but he is a graduating senior from high school about to go off to college. So we'll talk about that in just a minute, but he is going to play a piece now by Paganini. Now Paganini was an Italian virtuoso violinist from Italy, 1800s. He had uh, this weird condition where his joints were incredibly flexible. And so he could play anything. Therefore, the music he wrote for violins, uh, I think he thought that all violinists could play anything. <laughs> His music is very challenging, to say the least, but very exciting. And so George is going to play a piece called Nel Cor Pium Non Mi Sento, which is a Paganini's arrangement of uh, an opera aria. The opera was by Giovanni pa uh, Paisiello, and it's from an opera, so let's face it. Okay, the aria is about a broken heart. It wouldn't be an opera without an aria about a broken heart. And uh, the translation is, my heart I no longer feel. So George is gonna grace us with this fantastic, I cannot wait to hear this, George, I'm very excited. <laughs> Take it away.
So George, you are graduating from high school in just a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, that's the plan, yeah. That's the plan. And then where are you going to head off to school? Uh, so hopefully Indiana University, but you know, I guess we'll see what happens in the fall. Yeah, yeah. And you're obviously going to be a music major. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Following in, in the family business. Um, but I understand, in addition to uh, playing the same instrument as your father, you also share a love of flying. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, I was kind of introduced to it from a young age. And yeah. I mean, love, right? That's awesome. And, and, and I also understand you like to barbecue. Uh, yeah. You know, sit out yeah. there. So between your barbecuing and Maria's cakes, I know where I'm coming for dinner tomorrow night. I'm there, man. <laughs> you guys can just bring the plane over here, fly me over there, feed me, bring me home. And we'll keep six feet apart the whole time. <laughs> well, George, you sound fantastic. It's so exciting to hear you play. I know you study with um, Ali Osborne from the National Symphony. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. She's, she must be very proud. And your whole family must be very proud. You sound incredible. Best of luck to you. At Indiana University, I, I know we'll hear great things from you. So thank you and enjoy your summer. Thank you. So coming up next, we've got uh, Angela and Maria, the two daughters, are going to come back and sing us a little duet. If you're a mother, you're no stranger to the Frozen franchise. <laughs> the Disney Frozen movies have been a big, huge hit for several years now. And Frozen 2 came out last year. It continued the saga of the sisters Anna and Elsa. And Angela and Maria are going to come back and sing us a duet from Frozen 2. This is actually uh, a song that in the movie was sung appropriately enough for today, being Mother's Day. This song was sung by the mother to the two little girls when they were young. And the name of the song is All Is Found. It was written by the, the great Disney songwriting team, uh, the husband and wife team of Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. They wrote all the, the songs for the original Frozen as well. And the song is actually based on Rockabye Baby, the lullaby, and also some other Norwegian lullabies. So we're very excited to have Angela and Maria. Hi guys. Hello. Hey ladies, good to see you. So um, before we sing this song, though, I got to ask you, we all are wondering, who is your favorite Frozen character? For me, it's probably Anna. Uh-huh. Elsa. Anybody else want to chime in? <laughs> We've got Anna and Elsa. Anybody like Olaf? Anybody there? Olaf, yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, who doesn't love Olaf? 
<laughs> and Angela, how old are you? I'm 15. You're 15. And so, and where do you go to school? Westfield. Westfield. Awesome. And so what do you like to do in your free time when you're not going to school or singing duets? I like playing outside. Yeah, well, it's a good time of year to be playing outside. I like. I hear you like to play some basketball. Is that true? Yeah, I like to play with basketball. With my brothers. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite basketball player? No, I don't have a favorite basketball. No. You are your favorite basketball player. <laughs> well, I'm very excited to hear this duet. I loved the movie. We have seen all the Frozen movies, and um, I thought this was a particularly beautiful song. So we're very excited to hear you two lovely ladies sing this song from Frozen Two. Take it away. Oh, we've got some technical difficulties. That is the beauty of live performance. But I know we'll be back soon, hopefully, with the accompaniment to this beautiful yeah, song. In the, me in the meantime, you guys ready? Lovely. Thank you so much, you guys. That was beautiful. I know all the Frozen fans loved it and all the mothers. <laughs> so before we come back with Pavel to perform the last piece on tonight's program, I want to give you a heads up that next Sunday we will be back again at 7. Uh, we can be watched, of course, on uh, NSO Musicians' Facebook page and on our YouTube channel, but also through the Kennedy Center platforms as well. And next week we will be uh, launching into new territory for us musicians at the National Symphony Orchestra. We're gonna go into three households. Oh, I know the poor producer Bob Reardon is sweating already thinking about it. <laughs> but um, I'll be hosting again, of course, from Annandale, Virginia, but we're gonna be going to the home of Aaron Goldman, who's our principal flute player in the orchestra. 
We're going to be going to visit Glenn Donnellan and his wife, Jan. Glenn is a member of the violin section, and you won't want to miss that segment. It's a very inspirational, uplifting story behind Glenn and his wife, Jan. And uh, finally, we'll be visiting Eugenia Chang, who is a wonderful member of the cello section. So next week, we'll have some flutes, some violins, some cello. It'll be a lot of fun. It always is. So that'll be next Sunday at 7. We hope to see you then. And uh, now we are going to go back to Pavel, not to be outdone by his son, George, right? You are playing now a piece by um, Will, uh, Henrik Wilhelm Ernst. This is, um, I've heard, pegged as one of the most difficult pieces ever written for the violin. <laughs> Ending on, uh, like, like I said, your fingers are flying when you're not flying in your airplane. This is a, a piece that is based on the poem the Earl, Der Ölkönig by uh, Johann Vol Wolfgang von Goethe. And this piece you're playing is an actual arrangement of the Schubert song that he wrote for voice and piano, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. And the whole uh, violin. Sorry, what? Go ahead. The whole piano part given. Yeah, you have, you have to do everything. You have to be the voice and the piano, all of it on the violin. This is an amazing song. This is a song that I was one of actually one of my favorite Schubert songs. It's so powerful, so full of imagery. And for those of you who do not know the poem, um, we're going to read it actually in just a minute. Pavel thought it would be a nice idea to read the poem before he plays the piece. But the the story is about a father who is riding on his horse very fast through the night and holding his little boy in his arms. And the little boy is delirious and senses some sort of demon, um, the elf king, and he keeps crying to the father, I, you know, I, I sense his presence and he's trying to come and get me. And the father's trying to calm him and they're racing through the night. And sadly, when they get to their destination, the demon has in fact taken the life of the child. So it's a very sad poem, um, but the piece is amazing because in the piano part, in the Schubert rendition, you hear the racing of the horse. It's very fast and you'll hear that in the violin, but you also hear the different characters, the father and the son. And it's just, it's an incredibly powerful piece. So I cannot wait to hear you play this, Pavel. It is just, this is an amazing rendition for violin um, and a great way to end the program. So we're gonna read the poem and then you're gonna launch right into it, I think, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Who's riding so late through night so wild? It is the father who's holding his child. He's tucked the boy secure in his arm. He holds him tight and keeps him warm. My son, why hide you your face in fear? See you not father, the Earl King near, the Earl King in his crown and train. My son, but tis a foggy strain. Sweet, lovely child, come go with me. What a wonderful games I'll play with thee. Flowers most colorful, yours to behold. My mother for you has garments of gold. My father, my father, and can you not hear what Earl King is promising into my ear? Be calm, stay calm, O oh child of mine. The wind through dried leaves is rustling so fine. Wouldst thou, fine lad, go forth with me? My daughters shall royally wait upon thee. My daughters conduct each night their song fest to swing and to dance and to sing thee to rest. My father, my father, and can you not see Earl King's daughters there by the tree? My son, my son, I see it clear. The ancient willows so gray do appear. I love thee, I'm aroused by thy beautiful form, and be that now willing, I'll take thee by storm. My father, my father, he's clutching my arm, Earl King has done me a painful harm. The father shudders and onward presses, the gasping child in his arms he caresses. He reaches the courtyard and barely inside, he holds in his arms the child who has died. Thank you. 
chops up while we've been home.
not been able to go to work. You're still practicing. <laughs> that was amazing. How long have you been playing that piece? Um, I played it when I was a kid. And then, you know, <laughs> on a concert, I thought I'd bring it back. So I looked it over for a week and, you know, here we are. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You know, just whatever. <laughs> it was, that was amazing. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. I miss you. I miss seeing you on stage and off stage. And it's just, it's, it's great to see you even through a little speck on a screen. <laughs> so this has, been, this has been amazing. And just, it's so great to hear you play and your whole, and your whole family. So um, this is just amazing. Oh, and, and uh, Nareep, our Joseph, our concert master just chimed in and she said, it's just so great to hear you and fantastic playing all around. And she said, she misses you, Pavel. <laughs> so Nareep. hopefully we'll all be able to be back together at some point. So before we sign off for tonight, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Um, I got to do a huge shout out thank you to our producers, Bob Reardon and Jamie Roberts, uh, who make all the magic happen behind the scenes and do all this technical fancy stuff. God bless you both, boy, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> so thank you, Bob and Jamie. And thank you also to Thomas Baker, who did all the lovely artwork, um, the picture of the, of the couch with the picture of the concert hall hanging above it. We, we are so grateful for your talent and your time and your dedication to us. Um, thank you all for joining us and, and listening. Want to make sure you do come back next week for next week's installment of NSO at Home Live. Again, we'll be joined by Aaron Goldman on flute, uh, Jan Chong and Glenn Donnellan on violins, and Eugenia Chang on the cello. That'll be next Sunday at 7 through Facebook and YouTube, uh, both the NSO Musician sites and the Kennedy Center sites. And please follow us on Instagram and Facebook, see what we've been up to while We've all been home dealing with these unprecedented times. Um, in the meantime, please, everybody stay safe and stay healthy. And thank you so much for your support of the arts. I want to bring the whole pack of Pekarskis back. There's a whole slew of them. Uh, I see everybody there, right? All six of you or all six of them there. <laughs> this is amazing. We've got George, Angela, Maria, Alex, Nicholas, Ava, and we've got... Pavel and Stella, happy Mother's Day. You guys are amazing. Mother's Thank you so Day. much. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. You guys sound amazing. What a perfect way to cap off a Mother's Day. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining us. We can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was so stressful. <laughs>